Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'Allah, Koholoyim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha HaKodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahshanan Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, wanted to touch on this article in the NPR. It says Taliban affirms that stoning will be punishment for adulterers, especially women. Right. So let's play a little bit of this. Um, this this insert right here. Women in Afghanistan. It's like you. Shit load up here. Yeah, and I want to get into some of these comments as well. You're gonna see. See these Americans. They they not with um um rule rulership and justice or um organization or order basically. I'm not sure why this is not planned here yet. Women in Afghanistan are once again facing death by stoning for adultery. The ruling Taliban announced the return of this ancient punishment. Since the 2021 withdrawal of U.S. and allied troops, the Taliban have abandoned the Western-backed constitution of Afghanistan and curtailed any number of the social freedoms that many Afghans had enjoyed. But reintroducing stoning is seen as a return to some of the harshest elements of the Taliban rule in the 1990s. For more on this, we're joined by journalist Ruchi Kumar, who covers conflict and politics with a focus on Afghanistan. Richie, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Nice to be here. Why now and why women? Yes, so basically the Taliban have been stoning and flogging. Uh, public executions have been happening under the Taliban rule since they took over. Uh, however, the most recent announcement by the Taliban Supreme Leader is remarkable because it focuses very specifically on women. And I think the reason for that is because uh, the Taliban realized that women's rights is a hot button issue for the West. And I think it's a way for the Taliban to express uh, their own frustrations, I guess, at, at the West, because they've been trying for the last two years, at least, to be seen as a legitimate government to get recognition which hasn't happened. So I feel like this was their way of getting back. Um, this could be a message uh, to the Western audience that, you know, we hear you about your concerns about women's rights and we don't care. If you would remind us of other ways that the Taliban have eroded women's rights over the past several years. Right. So education and workspaces are definitely one of the larger issues that have been covered to some extent uh, that we know of. But with regards to this particular uh, statement, one of the things that women in Afghanistan that I talked to are very, very concerned about is how women have lost all uh, legal agency in the country, which makes the recent statement by the Taliban very um, scary for a lot of Afghan women, because if they are accused of any kind of moral crime, they have no way of defending themselves. I hear you very clearly that this message was directed at the West, but how is the international community reacting to this? Uh, there has been some criticism from the international community. There's been um, the UN agency, the spokesperson to the Secretary General, criticized the move, the statement uh, during a press briefing uh, soon after. Uh, but uh, overall, there hasn't been much reaction as yet. You know, we're still hoping and waiting that uh, countries that are stakeholders, that still are stakeholders in Afghanistan, will react, will help put pressure on Taliban to take back at least some of the very brutal moves. Do any of these outside groups or international actors still have any leverage in Afghanistan? I feel, yes, the Taliban, despite uh, the message was a bit cocky, but despite that, they still need the West. They need uh, Western support, uh, especially the humanitarian support that's coming into Afghanistan. And uh, they are very heavily still a very aid dependent, uh, you know, very heavily aid dependent country. So I feel like the Western countries still have a lot of uh, or at least some influence over the Taliban in trying to pressure them into being less brutal towards women. Ruchi Kumar is a journalist who covers conflict and politics with a focus on Afghanistan. Okay, and that was pretty much the interview. But I mean, you know, it's, it's a lot you can get out of that, you know. Um, well, first off, of course, the scriptures, man, go off into um, adultery, right? That's um that's one of the... Now, you know, they, they're going by their uh, Quran. And they, they kind of, I mean, the Quran is somewhat of a plagiarism of the Bible. It, it really is. You know, they, <laughs> you know, they get a lot of the stuff that they do from the Bible. 
overall, but it's not. There's no mate to the Bible. There's no other book that can be paired, be compared or paired with the Bible. The Bible is 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 the true word of Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father. You know, and He created the heavens and the earth, and there's no other words or word or wording that you know um that's above his word i mean it is what it is if, if people was living by just the ten commandments right these ten commandments right here this world would be so much different now america you notice they said um western because what they you know before the taliban took back over they did they was living just like um you know here in the west they was living like americans they had, you know, they was living by pretty much the American Constitution, so to speak, which gave the women the ability to get abroad, the ability to be out and about, to be, you know, just out and about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, you know, they was just starting to get a little freaky over there. You see? And when America comes through or the so-called white man comes through with that damn democracy, you best believe you only have a matter of time before your shit totally caves in. Look at America. These people run throughout the earth. And po try and police the earth when this place is trash. When I say literally trash, look, America can't go nowhere and get to talking to nobody just strictly on the strength of abortion here. America kills like a million kids a year with abortion. So until you can straighten that up, a million people, a million kids, man. A million, like a, almost a million abortions a year happen here in the Americas. It, they done killed like since um, Roe versus Wade and all that abortion bullshit. They done killed like 20 million kids, 30 million kids, probably even higher than that. But they run throughout the earth and get to telling people about, you know, you need to be this way. You need to be that way. Oh, human rights. But I bet you over there, you can call them um, um, savages. You can call these people what you want. But I bet you they don't have an abortion rate like that. Only time a baby is dying over there is if the woman pretty much it, it, it dies stillborn or the woman, you know, um, had a real ailment and, and her and the baby died. They, they having them children over there. You see, so America is very, very hypocritical. And, and I'm telling you, I'm going to the comments. You're going to see. I ain't even, you know, I went through it. I seen, you know, and I'm just like, OK, but I'm, I'm willing to bet you is these people here are going to be thinking night and day. You know, it's going to be a night and day comparison between these people here in the Americas, Babylon the Great, and those people that's over there. Now, are they all in the idol worship? Of course, they, you know, them motherfuckers over there ain't no different. They heathens too. But they, them heathen over there, they got, they living a, a lot more closer to the scriptures than these Americans that's calling themselves Christians, man. Just is what it is, right? So let's get the, um, the, the law. Verse 14, Exodus 20 and 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. It's simple. A couple of words. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And, and there's laws that go along with it. All right? Let me see here what they got in the cross references. Leviticus 18 and 20. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife to defile thyself with her. All right? A matter of fact, let's see. Let's get a little more on it. Oh, yeah. Let's get verse 21 as well. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. Neither shalt thou profane the name of the Lord, Yahweh. I am the Lord thy God, Yahweh. Now, here in the Americas, letting the baby pass through the fire of Molech would be like an abortion. And that's just one thing that I'm that I'm naming off. We ain't gonna talk about the drug heads, the murders, the 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 you know here in in America, um, bestiality is legal in certain states. You can sleep with animals, right? You can be um a part of the. You think that you're gonna go over there to this place and 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 and, and run around with the A B C D E F G shit? They understand that that causes disease. Adultery causes disease, man. It causes a nation to break down. It causes a community to break down. That's why it's so much disease in America. You're, lit you're lit literally living in a place where a woman, there are certain states where it's legal, where if you just stand with this woman, y'all stand together, and she got kids by another man, they know full well the kids are not yours. They will put you on child support. 
This is a wicked place, man. So, but they'll look at these people right here like they're just savages. But I guess, but 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 guess what? I bet you they don't have the drug problems over there that they have in America. I bet you they don't have the disease problem that they have in here in America. They don't have the suicide rates that they have here in the Americas. We ain't gonna even talk about the food, the water. I don't think they're they're over there just poisoning their people just cause. And again, they may be, you know, living like what you may think is savages. But guess what? Again, their children are not wilding all out and getting all out of hand with the parents. There's no little girl in their daddy face snapping their fingers and, and rolling their neck and eyes. They're, they're more than likely to be virgins when they get with their husbands. And what's so wrong with that? And I've done a lesson last night, you know what I'm saying, as far as Esau. See, when it comes to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he wants you to live the most reckless lives, man. Because if he can keep you in sin, that keeps you away from our power, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is Esau, man. He runs throughout the earth. That's how you know he's a damn serpent. He's the snake. He is a, a, a damn devil. Because he smiles in your face, we want you to be free. We want you to be comfortable. But what he's setting you up to do is to be free to self-destruct, man. You need order. Why do you think America's, why do you think they, they, these kids over here shooting up school? I bet you there ain't no kids over there shooting up no schools. I bet you that. I bet you it's no, um, or no smashing grabs. I bet you there's no road rage. I bet you they get along a lot more get it get along better with their neighbors. Not a bunch of damn infighting. Cause motherfuckers know, hey, there's a law to that shit. And and, it, and you can get it, see there's no penalty um to nothing in this place, man. Especially with the so-called white man and his people. They just run around and do what the fuck they want, man. Get a slap on the wrist and and and, and you know they're right on the back about their day. Right? Cause see, don't think that these these other nations don't don't understand that if they take on the so-called white man's way of living, they're they, they're gonna look at they're gonna turn into niggas. The worst people on the planet right now, in the worst state of living, is the so-called blacks and all Hispanics and Native Americans. Why? Because they've taken on the ideology and philosophy of the so-called white man with this freedom shit. See, we had law, statutes, and commandments. You got out of hand. There was a law for it. And let's go back into it. Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So, see, they're focusing on the women. Because it is, you know, um, you know, it's wrong on, 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 on all levels. But when it comes to that woman, you know, it's just something different about it. But. They're not saying that this is just for women. They're saying it's for adulterers, period. You know? So if a man has a woman, if, if say for instance, of, and, and, and see, we understand the scriptures over here, man. The apostles, the elders on down of GMS have taught us the scriptures the proper way and 100% truth. And we know for a fact that the scriptures is not against a man having multiple women. He's against you having a woman and you dealing with another man's woman with all these damn women out here. There's plenty of uh, 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 women out here where a man can have multiple women and not ever even come across another man's wife. Now, if another man's wife say, oh, I don't have no man. Which that happens in America all day, every day. They'll tell you quick. Nope, I'm not in a relationship. I'm not with nobody. You think, see, and the murder rate would go down here, too, if that was the case. If, 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 if you just stoned a couple of these chicks here in America on national TV, they'll get the picture. And I and I bet you your 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 death rate would go down, your murder rate would go down, that that rage, that jealousy, because you know there's a um a law on jealousy in the scriptures, where if a man gets jealous, he can kind of, you know he may not know, but he got that jealousy spirit on him. There's a law in the scriptures on that. He can go to you know to the priest, they you know perform the the ritual or what the Lord gave him to do. That's another lesson, and 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 you know her you know her thigh would rot, her belly would swell, so to speak. If she done it, you know, there's laws on that. But anyway, hey, this right here clearly says Leviticus 20 and 10 says they both should be put to death. 
Because actually it's nasty, man. And I was listening to the elders last night, you know, and they was talking about um how that's really low key. Um, um the apostle Gabar and um the bishop, they was um doing a Tuesday class, and they was basically going off into, you know, how that's basically low key homosexuality with you dudes running it behind um um some other man and, and having sex with his woman, man. You you all collecting his juices. That's disgusting, man. That's how disease is passed along, man. And here's 2 Samuel 11 and 4. And David sent messengers and took her. Now, you know, this is um, David went hard, man. This is um, Bathsheba. And David sent messengers and took her. And she came in unto him. And he lay with her. For she was purified from her uncleanness. And she returned into her house. And the woman conceived and sent to, and told David and said, I am with child. Now, what happened with that particular child? The Lord killed that baby. The Lord knocked that baby off. Now, the Lord... You know, um, um, hitting with the uh, he had mercy on David, which he should have been put to death, and Beersheba, she should have been put to death. But the Lord took the baby, and 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 you go through David's history, his household was all, all out of control. The Lord gave him a list of things that was going to happen to his ass, man, for committing that that adultery, man, against that brother. And that brother was a, you know, he he seemed to be a good brother. I think his name was Uriah. You read through the history and story of that. And then, it, you know, from the way that the story went, David basically tried to send this guy home to be with um, Beersheba. So had he went home and slept with Beersheba, he would have easily thought that that was his baby. David was David went went hardcore nigga, man. <laughs> Straight up. Um, let's see. OK, it's going off of two proverbs. That's good, too. But the point is made. I wanted to just um, touch on those, you know, pretty much just overall the law. And there's more to it. You know, it's a few more things. Now, this is Yahweh Shai. Um, Matthew 5 and 27. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. That's why, you know, you see a brother with a, with a woman. Man, just look, you know, acknowledge him. You never, I do that shit all the time. I acknowledge him and never even say anything to her ass. Don't even look at her, you know? If a woman is with a man, you know, you don't know if that's her brother. You don't know if it's her uncle or whatever. I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking all past that shit. I don't even want to look at you. I don't know because whoever you may, with, may be with may be her man. And, you know, it takes some discipline. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, over time, you know, you get better with it. You know, because you don't want to be committing adultery within your heart. You know, you're supposed to, you know, if a woman is by herself, you ask her, hey, you got a man. Simple. Are you with someone? If she say no, then you can deal with it, but you should be praying to Yahweh about Shemiah Washai anyway. You know, getting, getting, you know, some, you know, some, some prayer into the Lord because he knows was whether or not she, even if she's single, it may not be good for you. <laughs> I mean, that's simple, but you know. If she's single, generally what I'm saying is, you know, you can be with that lady if she's single. And scripturally, we can have multiple wives. But in America, of course, you know, what, what does America teach? They teach her that they're Christians. They, oh, yeah, we love sweet white baby Jesus. But when it comes to the scriptures, you know, that's like um, Elder Malcolm always say out in Chicago, like hey, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. You go into the scriptures and show that the Lord is okay with men having multiple women. Then, oh, no, 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 you know. And you got camps out here that's teaching that, it, you know. Matter of fact, IUIC, from what I've heard, you know, I know they don't want you with no um no extra women. But from what I've heard, they, they give their congregants like a six-month, um, you know, say, for instance, a brother come in. And within those six months, his wife must come in and convert as well. But other than that, you know, he got to get rid of her. Or if a woman comes in and, and, you know, vice versa, her husband don't convert within the six months, then, you know, and that's causing um, 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 them to commit adultery. You're telling a woman to leave her husband if he doesn't come into this truth. The scripture says that, you know, if, if, if your spouse is pleased to be with you, then go ahead and, and, and chill with them. You know, if they not, they don't have no problems with you being into this truth. You know, but it does say that, hey, if they want to get up and boogie, they want to jet, let them go ahead. You're supposed to be at peace. Anyway, and this is going off into, you know, you basically, you checking out, you just lusting over some dude's wife, man. 
Every time you come over to the house, you're looking at your boy, your homeboy's woman in, in, in a real nasty way, man. That's adultery, man. That's adult. This, this is what Yahweh is talking about. So when it comes down to this, now I wanted to go off into some of these, these comments. Because you know these damn Westerners, they are not having it. These Westerners don't believe in no shit like this, huh? They don't believe in no order. Let's, let's read a few. This person says, keep letting them in our country and we'll have to do this. Let me see. Keep letting them in our country and we'll have this too. Oh, that's what they're saying. They don't care about laws, only theirs. No, yeah, those are, those are good laws to have. Why would you want a, 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 a disease in your, in your communities? Because that's what it causes. Look at the rate. Of, matter of fact, you know, it's been lessons going out. The rate of syphilis right now. The rate of, um, um, you know, even AIDS and, and, and all these different things, man, that's out here are through the roof right now. And it's about to be summertime, so you already know the shit just goes up when it, when it, when 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 they, they really out here to get in them hot shorts. It's nasty, man. And then you'll have a person like this if they get cheated on, they boo hooing. They boo hooing. They crying. I can't believe you. Look at what I done for you. I was giving you money for this, and I was paying your car note, and I was doing it. You boo hooing. See. This person says, brought to you by followers of the religion of peace, tolerance, and love, okay? They said they stone for adultery but are free to rape. No, I, I don't think they're getting down like that, too. I think they're they, they knocking your ass off over there, too, for any... Look, they, they, this is not just the only thing that they're doing over there for. They they, they, they about all the bullshit. <laughs> they about all the bullshit. They'll knock your ass off for all the bullshit from stealing... So don't just put it on, you know what I'm saying? They'll knock your ass off a of rape over there too. So see, this is just the, th the way that these Americans be thinking. This person sa um, says, in reality, the, women, the woman that gets raped under Sharia law can be held accountable and stone for getting raped makes no sense. Now, we do have a law uh, on that in the scriptures where if a woman didn't scream, You know, roughly paraphrasing now, if a woman, if a woman was getting attacked and she didn't scream, that meant she was with it. If she screamed, that was something different. She, you know, that, that, that you know, it wasn't, she wasn't to be punished because she screamed out. So, but you know, these, these people are heathen, man. They, you know, they, they really do go by the Quran. They, you know, they plagiarize a lot of stuff from the scriptures, but they don't keep the scriptures and the spirit is not with them to keep the scriptures anyway. They're just heathen, man. This person says, coming to America soon if our government don't change. See, they with this. They with uh, the, the, the woman and man being able to run around. See, this is what America, this is what they're used to. This is why when we go into our kingdom, it's going to be such a, um, a, a, a real headache for them. Because they're not going to want to conform. That's how we're going we, we gonna to be tearing their asses up, man. We're going to be on their ass all day, man, with that rod, man. They're going to learn the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Same way that they, it's going to be total opposite of the shit that they used to now. <laughs> Same thing with any country that pushes Sharia law, Hamas and Hezbollah. Both support these measures. Well, Israel should be supporting those measures if they was really the real people. Aren't they the ones with the Torah? They're the ones that's talking about the five books of Moses, the Torah. Isn't that in the Torah? Aren't they sovereign people? They don't seem to care what the Westerners think anyway. And another thing that she said off in there too was um, the lady asked her, well, you know, do... Any other countries basically have any influence in the country to make them change their minds. And she was basically like, yeah, they send humanitarian aid. There's a few countries, maybe if they, you know, will stop sending, you know, um, funding through and, you know, medical supplies and things of that nature, they might change up. And see, that's a way of not ever having anyone over you like that. That scripture that comes into mind on um, Isaiah 31. 
Let me get that real quick. Isaiah 31 and 1, where it talks about woe to them that go down to Egypt. See, this is how Esau going to come with that mark of the beauty and the beast, too, because he feels as if, OK, if I'm taking care of you, you have to do everything that I say. No, you can't. You're sovereign. But until I don't like this, some some sovereign law that you have, God damn it, because I'm taking care of you. Right. Isaiah 31 and verse one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, Yahweh. So we know they're not going to seek Yahweh. But the point that I wanted to make is where she was talking about the humanitarian aid and how these other countries got some influence to maybe have them stop what they're doing is because they're giving to them food, water, medicine, you know, uh, whatever else may they may be giving them. So, see, when you got other people, that's he that that's why the scripture talks about can two walk together unless they be agreed. Right. You can't what you can't say, well, you know, we're going to do this. This is we're sovereign and, and, and we're going back to our old way. But you're dealing with some Westerners with a new way. They're going to be like, up. Oh, no, well, you're going to have to stop doing what you're doing before we send you this shit. And, and America got a way of, of buckling down on you, man, with them sanctions, man. America done, 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 done killed a lot more people than you think through sanctions, man. Killed children, women, through a lot of hunger, a lot of disease. They'll block you off from getting shit that you need. You might be a sovereign country with your own dollar or your own money. And you, you want to barter or um, trade with another country. And, and America shut that shit down. Why? Because the, the so-called white man is in control. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof and not wearing who is he? That Job 9 and 24. Now, there are wicked people. There are wicked, you know, wickedness from other nations. But Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he is the fucking wicked. He is the source of it, basically, you know, <laughs> by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, because we know the Lord is in control. But that was one thing that I noticed she mentioned. And if you notice, you know, she had the, the, the little soft voice. She sounded like she was a damn American. She didn't seem, you know, she had a little bit of a slight accent, but it wasn't too strong. See, they they see they got you see some of those those young ladies. They kind of grew up, you know, when America first got there, they was like five, six, seven years old. Eight years old. I think America was there maybe about, I don't even know how long, 10. I don't fucking know how long. But by the time America left there, a lot of those young ladies, all they knew was American shit. They pretty much grew up with a Western mentality. So when the Taliban came back in and made them start covering their damn heads back up, that's why you got all that shit going on over there with those women. See, what those women don't understand is, is that they're pretty much fighting to destroy their, 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 their culture. They're, they're pretty much fighting to destroy themselves. They're not looking at the future of their granddaughters, their great, great granddaughters and things of that nature. You know, we know that, you know, we're praying that there is no next level to it as far as that with them. We pray our Lord will come. But I'm just saying from a standpoint of you will have to look at the American mindset and the people. You can just go back to the early 1900s and, and, and bring it all the way up to now and see what, what has happened to um, um, this people here because the American culture is, is, is trash. Wickedness upon wickedness upon wickedness upon wickedness generation to generation. So those people are kind of they was just kind of like living in, a, you know, in, 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 in somewhat I would say a refrigerator, so to speak, or like a freezer, you know, just they just doing what they've been doing for hundreds of years straight. America just been in this motherfucker every five years, every 10 years. It's just chaotic, more chaotic, more chaotic, more disorder, more disorder, more disorder. This is the most chaotic fucking place on the planet and they giving rules and regulations to everybody else so any little inkling of of society of norm that you you would normally have you get in, you get into this democracy shit of america your ass through your, your whole shit is through you're gonna have school shootings you're gonna have a drug problem you're gonna have needles all in the park you're gonna have goddamn homeless camps all over the place tent city with people shitting on the sidewalks that's what you're going to have if you're dealing with America or if you're dealing with their democracy, man. And like I said, again, you, you look at these these comments, man. Women stoned, raped, assaulted, murdered. What a life for women. They, they Motherfuckers is murdered here. They're raped here. 
They're trapped in here. The fuck is you talking about? That's nowhere in the article. Okay, and again, like I said, if you're doing any of those things and you get caught, now in India it seems a little bit different. Over there in India, they, they be doing all kinds of weirdo shit. Them damn East Indians. But over here, no, they're not playing all that shit. But see, they're trying to make it seem as if, oh, they're just these, these reckless savages. But what's more savage than America, man? You can't get no more savage than America. America was stolen on savagery, raping, robbing, pillaging. Then you'll get this one of these crackers on TV in the blue suit. Always say, if you see one of them in that blue suit, and that seemed like all of them uniform. That damn blue suit with that white shirt, either that blue tie or that red tie. Hair slicked back, no beard on their face. You can't not believe nothing them fuckers say. You should be running as soon as you see one of them. That is the, the, the uniform of a devil. Straight up, man. That's their country. Let them do their thing. This USA, go home. Yeah, exactly. Why y'all all over, all over the place with your democracy when you're hip... And hip I call it hypocrisy. Fuck your democracy. It's all hypocrisy. All this wickedness going on in this fucking place, man. And you running throughout the earth trying to talk about where we're the, the, the heroes of the world. I just seen Joe Biden on TV talking that shit. I can't stand even. It, it just. Yeah. It takes two people to commit adultery, of course. They're not saying. Let me see. Matter of fact, though, let's go back into it because they're, they're pretty much focusing it on women. So whoever done this, they said, especially women, they added this. I'm pretty sure that if there's a man that's committing adultery with another man's wife, they're going to get his ass too. I'm pretty certain of that. But they're trying to make it seem as if, uh, and you notice too, at the beginning of, uh, of the segment, she was like, you know, I think they're trying to get back at the West because of the women's right. You see what women's rights and got women here in America? First off, you got a uh, 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 damn trannies whooping y'all ass in every sport. Let's start there. Let's just start there. Then not to mention, uh, you go online, you, you see nothing but women complaining about not being able to get a husband. Where do you think that come from? Because cause, cause the so-called white man that gave you all this ability to get abroad, I don't need a man. Y'all ran that shit for decades. Now men are starting to listen to you. You even see women now complaining, talking about it takes a real man to get with a single woman with kids. Nobody want to deal with that shit. Only here in America will a man deal with a woman and three, four baby daddies, man. And they fucking kids that won't listen. That's what democracy causes. That's what freedom, the, the, the American freedom causes, man. Nobody want to deal with that shit. You better off chilling to yourself. And, and, and just you you might as well just go buy some box. You come out a lot cheaper. <laughs> you come out a less less stressful. You ain't got to deal with a bitch for the next 18 years because of some some monster that she she's going to raise because you ain't going to get a chance to raise them. This place breeds nothing but but chaos, man. You know, women out here 50, 60, 70 years old uh, twerking and shit. You know, who want that shit, man? Don't know when to fucking grow up and sit the hell down, man. A bunch of damn dudes sitting around in their 40s, 50s at their mama house playing video games and shit. That's America, man. Anyway. Uh, we can go on and on, but I'm just going to end out there, man. I just seen this shit and was like, hey, we're good for you. Good for you. Somebody with some damn order. Because in the ancient days, stonings didn't go on all the time. But I bet you if, if your ass got, I bet you if somebody got set up for the stoning, I bet you that was the talk of the town. And I bet you it took a real long fucking time before anybody ever thought of doing that shit again. That was taboo. It hasn't been a stoning in 60 years. 70, 120 years have gone by and there hasn't been a stoning. Because they remember the last time and there's talks of it. That shit carries on. Can you imagine? You see, people don't understand what a stoning would do to your mindset. Chips in your damn, your teeth getting knocked out. 
chips of your skin just flying. You know, that one sharp fucking rock catch your ass across the fucking ear, take your ear off, your shins and shit all bloodied up. You trying to block your arms, your your your, 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 your elbows, all that shit cracked up. Next thing you know, your ass is buried in a pile of stones, man. That's a brutal way to go. If people, if you be, if people seen that shit, I bet you these bitches would be like, uh uh-uh. uh, nigga, you better get away from me. I ain't messing with you. But she not not here in the Americas. A woman literally can 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 she can literally. It's plenty of women right now in America that sleep next to a man. Been sleeping next to him for th- damn near thirty years. What whatever amount of time they've been married, and she's never told that man that the kids that that he thought was his is not his. One of her homegirls may know. And then once the homegirl, they get into a little argument, she might come and tell. Now there's a relationship from 50 years that's done broke up because now all of a sudden the girlfriend, she done got mad when it come out of the blue and tell her, 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 her girlfriend's husband. Yeah, them kids ain't yours. I remember the night when she. But it's literally women that's laying down with their husband every single night, whether it's a they got a one year old or a 10 year old or a 15 year old. She's literally laying in the bed with this nigga every night. With no problems. Knowing full well the kids are not his. Get up, brush her teeth looking in the mirror and that shit don't bother her. I bet you if, 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 if them damn stonings was going down here like that, you wouldn't ever have that shit going on, man. The description talks about purging the evil. Oh, fear purges the evil, man. See, these Americans don't have no fear. They don't have no fear of you. How about Shimei was shy? Until the Lord all of a sudden, that calamity hits them suddenly. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of you women, man. Two thirds of you women, two thirds are a lot of women. That, that's mostly women. A large majority of it. Now it's gonna be some wicked niggas gonna get the business too. Don't get me wrong, but hey, look that that psh, the focus here they they said especially women, which we know this article is talking about men and women. You know, I didn't read through the article; it's a little bit different, but I just wanted to play the hook up. But pretty nice piece, if you ask me. But I knew already once you look at the comments, these Americans are not going for it. Because out here talking about some damn democracy and, and human um rights and all this other shit. And the meanwhile, Israel over there bombing the hell out of um Gaza and you and, and you Americans are supplying them with the damn tools to do it. Then at the same time, you trying to get them humanitarian aid. Backwards as hell, bro. Anyway, that's America. And we, and you can clearly see this is Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great agrees with wickedness. That's why this place is going to be um, um, set on fire, man. And a gang of you motherfuckers going to catch that second death. And I'm praying that I don't have nothing to do with it, man. That's why it's so important. Let me get this one, too, because I, I thought about this one earlier. This Micah 2 and 10. Come out of the mindset of Americans because this is the mindset of America. America will allow you to run around throughout the earth and be wicked as fuck. And then through white Jesus will tell you that you're saved already, which is a damn lie. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted and shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. These people are sorely destroyed. Believe in that silly shit. They're sorely destroyed. That's why none of these other these nations don't want nothing to do with America, man. Them Chinese people don't want nothing to do, even though you got Hong Kong over there, they, they act like damn Americans too. But I'm talking about generally just China. They don't want nothing to do with no fucking America, man. They understand that this place is destroyed and it will destroy you. You're know, looking at them uh, world star hip hop all day and, and, and listening to a bunch of dumb ass songs. Li- looking at a bunch of stupid ass movies. Playing a bunch of dumb ass video games. Constantly bread and circus. It's got to be somewhere partying. If it's not about entertainment or food. Or getting drunk or high. It, 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 the motherfuckers don't want nothing to do with it here in the Americas. It's just all just play, play, play. No seriousness about this place, man. So I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Kwame, inshallah.